SLP Storytime, Part 4. Tommy Teshima started her private practice to work with two distinct populations. One, preschoolers with speech and language disorders, and two, gender-affirming voice and communication for teens and adults. She lives in a small town in Michigan and wanted to bring these services to her community. During COVID, demand for her services picked up and she ended up hiring a mix of employees and contractors to help serve more clients. Her private practice now sees a wide variety of different types of clients, and this has given her more time to pursue her own interest in orofacial myofunctional therapy. Tommy is a great example of someone who expanded their services as they expanded their clinical interests. Tommy is an alum of the Start Your Private Practice program and now serves as a coach for the Grow Your Private Practice program. Tommy's story is an excellent example of why you don't have to be a specialist to start a private practice. You can start your private practice and then start to specialize over time. For more private practice success stories, make sure to listen to my podcast, the Private Practice Success Stories Podcast. It's available wherever you listen to podcasts.